Hi! <laughs> Hello, ladies, gents, and computer illiterate boomers. I got Froze Lunky working. It was just a matter of actually finding the current website and not the super outdated source of Froze Lunky that I was using. And then you'll see that there's a new, exciting new character, which is the old character. Paco Espelanco has been rejuvenated to play through the Blargo Jetpack Blark Venture. I thought was the best way to get back into Spelunky HD challenges, custom levels. Play my own that I have no memory of. I have no memory whatsoever of what these levels are. I have vague, vague memories. Let's put it that way. I just don't remember what I'm supposed to do here. I mean, obviously these are unbreakable, right? Uh, no, they're not unbreakable. Pretty sure they're supposed to be unbreakable. <laughs> pretty, pretty sure that's not the way it's supposed to work. That makes no sense. Why would I make uh, uh, this uh, with a jet with a plasma cannon, and then you can just go straight through and basically get to the exit? Obviously, you have to make it to the bottom. What the? What? Already, I was like, what is going on? This jetpack is, is, this plasma cannon is not supposed to be here, is it? What is happening? What is happening right now? Let me check the file. Maha, I understand. I understand what happened here. You see, I, instead of downloading my own mod, I simply loaded my working file that I had so many years ago. And it is forced to start in 4-2 and also giving me a way out of that initial thing so I can test something else. Bit of a mistake. There we go. We are now in the actual starting point of the Blark Venture. Obviously, everything is going to be extremely easy for me. Look at me. I already got through that uh, extremely simple little gauntlet. This is quite trivial honestly i can't believe i ever thought this was any kind of challenge uh, 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 uh. okay that was slightly challenging i suppose i'm dropping like a stone all right this is just water over here and uh then i suppose something needs to happen right what am i, what am I supposed to do here oh that's right you're supposed to guide the vat the bat I completely forgot I did such a sadistic thing. What, a, what an absolute piece of trash. What a piece of work I am. <laughs> I ran out of fuel right there. I'm going to constantly be surprised of, at my own awful deviousness. Because I had, like I said, I have no memory whatsoever. Unfortunately, when I was trying to get the editor working again, I did need a clean install. There is something in my heavily modded file of Spelunky that Froze Lunky just does not like. Whoopla. So here I am with Vanilla Paco. He has been rejuvenated. I could have done the work of actually going through. Let's get this bat. Let's get this bat. I wonder if I had to use him for anything other than getting rid of these uh, bullets. Let me go back and rest. There we are. Getting rid of these bullets. I think I need to get him up there as well. So let's do something like this. I don't know exactly how crazy I need to be about this. So let's make sure I get the bad out. Oh man, I think oh, I failed to hit the space bar at the bottom of there. Oh, I forgot about this body! You still need to use the bat to get rid of some of those bullets. But this body will make it so much easier to get rid of the bullets. Uh, 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 uh. There we are. Actually, there's plenty of... Well, <laughs> turns out I need to carry that particular body because there's plenty of idiotic little imbeciles ready to service me in death there you go. I could have figured out 
how to just install all Paco without changing anything else. But I am too freaking lazy for that. So here I am. Playing vanilla files, Blunky. <laughs> <laughs> They're much better. Seems kind of gratuitous to put all these corpses all over the place because you can use them to get rid of a lot of bullets. Especially as you go up the gauntlet. I wonder if this is just something I added for playtesting. I'm confused and bewildered about the amount of help that I gave myself in the playtesting file. I really should go out of my way to go and uh, download my own mod from... I assume Spelunky.fyi has it. Is this doable? I need to go in through the freaking cobwebs. Alright, I, I, I remember now. I vaguely remember that. Let me get real. This damn bat. Hmm. How dastardly. I am upset with my past self. This is just... Cruel and unusual punishment. Ah! <laughs> you really can't... I forgot that you can't just... Uh, Spam the jetpack in the cobweb, or you're gonna have a real bad time. You know what? I think I can use the bat instead to get rid of the bullets that kill me. Way down here. Do something like this. It's eventually going to come this way. Just need to come on, come on, come on, come on. You can do it, you son of a whore! <laughs> This is more complicated than I uh, gave myself credit for. There, I did it. I did it with the bat. Get rid of you. And now, I can use this corpse to maybe cheese? Feels like this is not the intended purpose of this this corpse. Feels like these corpses shouldn't even be here when you, you can just do it with the bat, right? I'm going to give myself every tool. to uh, get through this absolute torture chamber. Oh, how my past self will laugh at this absolute self-humiliation. Truly, time-traveling shame it is wrecking my body right now. This man, this boy, used to be an HD god, but no. Please, don't be foolish. Eh, I'll probably just get through this. Oh no, don't, don't take my body away, no! Okay, we're fine. And now, honestly, honestly, uh, obviously we need to get to that those ropes. Beyond that, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. Uh, let me get rid of these cobwebs. They're a major pain in my ass. Holy crap, brother, don't kill yourself. How is it, like, you can spam and you will jump up, but you are, you're going to get rid of your, your own fuel so quickly. All right, all right, buddy. Ah, uh, oh, there's a ghost! There's a freaking ghost! What ni a nightmare. <laughs> what a nightmare I have inflicted upon myself. Hey, made it. This may be a two-parter. This may be a three-parter. Considering how utterly uncivilized this ch challenge is. I picked a... Oh, you're supposed to carry a body. I picked a side. I don't know which side I'm supposed to go. I think I vaguely remember just... It's just optional. You can go one side or the other. Yeah! <laughs> a bullet in my face. You can go one side or the other and... It's just a matter of uh, what path do you want to follow. Give you us uh, non-linear progress right there. Give you a little bit of lead. Well, let's just go... Eh, let's go right. See if there's something doable over here. Actually, can I carry this? Hey, you can. Okay, buddy. Well, that is uh, depressing. <laughs> just get rid of this bullet. Obviously you have to, right? And then I am just kind of stuck doing the, the blind progress over here. What even is this? <laughs> this is just cruel and unusual punishment. Oh, baby. I, st I can still spam the crap up out of my... 
out of my jumping. Am I supposed to uh, stump these bats? Am I supposed to use them to get rid of the bullets? Or are they just for flavor? I think they're just for flavor. <laughs> it's just feeling like uh, putting some bats in my path. Why not? Wow, that was upsetting as hell. Oh, here you're not uh, meant to let the fires drop on the fire. But you are, though. Huh. You need the explosion to happen, but not get crushed by it? Ah, uh, well, let's just do one of these. Okay. Wow. This is uh, not as straightforward as I thought. I've been labeled a terrorist, too. Ah! <laughs> what am I supposed to do there? Yeah, there's just no way you can make it a... I, I have no idea. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do in this level. Let's go left, see if there, it's any easier. Oh, you're supposed to drop it as you go in. All right, all right. No big deal. No big deal. I can, I can deal with this. My past self cackling in his hyperbaric chamber. He is so amused. Shit. <laughs> so amused by this utter incompetence. Is this what all those play testers felt? I remember watching this stream with Bear Taffy and Rockley Smile. Oh! Rockley Smile. Remember that poor Rockley Smile spent literal hours just on the first level. And he was just struggling not to get salty about it. <laughs> anyway, this goes down there. Bear made it though. Bear was able to get through the entirety of the ordeal. Took him, I think, like three hours, but he made it. All right, so this path is way easier than the other. What the hell is going on here? The problem is, how the hell, what are you supposed to do at the end? Maybe the bats are supposed to be used. Maybe it's another one of those things. This is still the test file and not the downloaded mod. Maybe I'm supposed to... Maybe there's some an edit in the file that is not supposed to be there. Let me double check, make sure. Right, let me simply load the download instead of loading my own test file because who knows how altered that file is. So I'll be back. All right, let's do this again. It is truly not that hard to get through this one. Just gotta do the incredible jetpack tapping techniques that are, we have perfected through the years we definitely want to get rid of the bats don't want the extra complication uh, look at me look at me whipping in flight amazing holy crap what a drop and uh let me let me take it just a closer look oh how about you just pushing the block you absolute buffoon <laughs> look it's been, I just downloaded the file. It's been, can you believe it? It's been nine years, nine years, almost a decade since I last booted up these levels. I can't remember them. Oh man, I forced the level to, to the, I forced the level. So now it's going to spawn me into this one. Let me fix this real quick. In a way, I'm glad we're having all these technical difficulties with my own level because it means you know, this way I can work out all the kinks in case I want to create my, not create, but play somebody else's. I guess we're just supposed to whip on the our way up, huh? Incredible. Amazing. Um, of course I'm going to have some technical difficulties. Wonder if I needed that skull. Wonder if I need this skull. I'm going to assume that I don't. This is actually quite trivial. All the things that are happening right now. Oh. <laughs> well, never mind. This is just awful. This is basically a Celeste gauntlet where the red crap is oscillating up and down. But instead of that, it's with spiders. 
I like the little addition of the little <laughs> shopkeeper music here. Very nice touch, very nice touch. Pass Blargo. You were truly a luminary. It was some absolute genius level. Did not even see the bullet. Genius level design going on in this place. Oh, that's right. We're actually on a timer. I forgot about that. Belinda gets contusion, uh, a head contusion, a freaking concussion. And we are on a timer. Ow. To get to the end before she does, or the entire level is ruined. What a excellent way to make me lose my mind. Thanks a lot, past self. It is quite the trend of my past self constantly screwing me over from staying up until 1 a.m. playing video games, figuring, ah, future Blargo will, future Blargo will deal with it. At least, there you are. So, I think we're just supposed to gun it, right? It is not... Yo, what the... <laughs> we're supposed to just rush forward through the damn spiders. Not try to uh, put too much thought into it. Neglecting to work out. Stuffing his face with the food that he shouldn't be stuffing himself with. Pass Blargo is the biggest asshole. In my life, I don't have a nemesis, I don't have an enemy, other than Nostra Damas' pranks now and then, uh, finding the dead raccoons under my bed and all that stuff. He hires people to do stuff like that. And it's just... It's just good old friendly sporting uh, pranking. My past self is just this outright saboteur. He is a piece of good work, a piece of trash, and an absolute... Bane of my existence. If Pass Blargo would get his shit together, I wouldn't be in so much damn distress every day of my life. This is awful and I hate it. <laughs> this is just some sadistic garbage. <laughs> Gonna be a 1 HP, huh? Well, I didn't have to be a 1 HP, but I truly uh, made myself into a buffoon. Okay, bud. We're just going to. Oh, baby! All right, so what now? Okay, push. <laughs> oh, man. Gotta think outside the push block. I don't know what's at the top of this. I'm hoping that it will be the exit. Well, there goes Belinda. Oh, I needed that rock, didn't I? Oh! The entire level is ruined. Are you insane? This is just psychopathic. This <laughs> some. Pure psychopathic nonsense. Ow. The entire level is ruined. I can't get to the exit. I need to be so fast. <laughs> it's ridiculous. My past self was way better on the video game than I am. Uh, I mean, 10 years. 10 years of degeneration of my neural paths on my fingertips are taking their toll right now. It's also the lack of knowledge. But now... I have the knowledge to get to the end, but uh, I don't have the capability. Okay, it's, it's good that I got there before the skeleton was done, but this little corridor right here is perhaps the most dastardly of the entirety of the gauntlet. Get me through. And it being a timed thing, which I was not aware of. Oh, it being a timed thing. Oh man, we gotta, like, I didn't need to internalize how to do that. It's like, you need to drop a little bit and then hit that space, that jetpack, at just the right moment. Because it's a timed event, now I need to do the whole thing in one go. I can't just cut to the place where I'm stuck. That is cheap nonsense. I would have made that one if I had uh, actually used the jetpack. Uh, yeah, definitely we're getting a two-parter with this one because... I am not out of Mines 1-3. And yeah, there has been many edits. So on your side is maybe like 15 minutes. My side is 26 minutes. I can't be affording to create... Uh, again. To create a hour and a half video. Okay, bud. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're just going in. Ah! Oh! Oh! <laughs> 
<laughs> I could have totally used that immunity. Belinda, you're, you're just running too damn fast. Get me, get me to the exit. You can't, ah! Oh, that cost me. That cost me the level. Right there. You absolute bitch! Get me out of here! Oh, 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 baby! Okay, it was not as tight as I thought. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, we got a hell of a job going on. Oh, that's right. I. Uh, whoa! Error entity overflow. Oh, no! <laughs> Even higher stakes. The game crashes if I touch a cobweb. All right, guys, we actually have a problem. It doesn't just crash the game. It makes it so that Froze Lunky gives me the same error that I can't load again. And it's like, I need to restart the game like seven times and finally it worked. So we got some serious problem. I'm gonna attempt it one more time. I remember what it was. You basically need to get to the bottom without touching any cobwebs. It's very straightforward, just, you know, a mechanical challenge. And also there's a timer on it, so no oh well there he goes <laughs> welcome to another crash there you go <laughs> this is gonna happen every time but here is the shaft uh, that's going to take me all the way to the bottom uh i'm going to just skip this level because it is actually a massive pain in the ass to get to uh to get this running again i cannot just do it over and over and over the thing is i really should make sh sure to uh, fix this so that you know the file that's on the internet is actually playable i will see I i'll worry about that later i was looking at the editor and i really can't tell what is going on there's uh, a, a massive pile of explosions that happen maybe for some reason the game cannot <clears throat> cannot handle that many explosions anymore uh it used to like i haven't changed the damn thing from when this level pack was available to everybody. So, something happened in between. Bruh, please, I need to get the exit. Oh, see the timer happening over here? The two rocks. Yeah, the two rocks are over there. Eventually, they are going to blow up everything. Let's get out of here. Carry on to the jungle. I'm sure in the jungle, everything will be so much easier, right? In the jungle, my life will become much more manageable Whoa! <laughs> blue frogs overpower blue frogs what what was even the message here what am i supposed to do <laughs> i mean obviously it's about the overpower blue frogs but uh what is the goal ah the worm i see i see you're supposed to grab adam from his corner while dealing with 70 frogs. Fairly stupid. <laughs> Pretty stupid level. Uh, where are you, Adam? There you are. You just throw this torch. Probably you're supposed to... Aha, uh -huh. yeah, you need to actually kill the damn frogs. Ah, excuse me. Excuse me, I'm not not check back you. Ah! <laughs> I'm being assaulted by amphibians. They have explored all my cavities and they judge me unworthy. Please, I guess we need a little bit more light to be able to navigate this blue frog nightmare. This is stuff pulled straight out of my night terrors. A truly horrifying environment right here. Adam, let's get you to the to the warm tongue. There you go. Is this what I'm supposed to do? You absolute maniac pet self? Sure hope so. Because that's the only thing I got, boy. Boy. I, that's all I got. Am I supposed to go to the warm? Does this just keep going? This looks uh, like an edited level, right? I, I made this. Bruh. <laughs> Please. <laughs> What? <laughs> what are you even supposed to do? It, it, this, was this done on purpose? I have no clue, brother. <laughs> There's not even there isn't even a jetpack available here. I don't think this was done on purpose. I think I'm just an idiot. <laughs> I did not even I did not even put this through 
any kind of thinking. I have four bombs too. What? This is so silly. <laughs> what a silly experience. Everything is broken. Yeah, I, just, I can't really make this happen. I mean, I can. Possibly it is doable if I hang on to the ledges, right? But no, let's use our brains, get ourselves back on track. All right, so there's actually some weird deep lore associated with this entire thing. I did put this here. I made this. The thing is, it used to be if you die in the warm when you go through the custom levels, I don't know why it doesn't work anymore. I don't know what changed. If you if this happens and you restart, it would spit you out and you would go on to the next jungle level. It doesn't happen like that, at least not. It's not happening right now, obviously. So I have to manually go and, uh, let's see, resource, not the resource editor. Please, that's not what I wanted to bring up. Close that up. Level, project settings. We got to start at 2-2. Maybe this is what I need to change. Anyway, resume. We gotta die. <laughs> shameful, I say. Shameful. What a pile of technical difficulties. Absolutely pathetic. Let me go back in here. And I think this will take me to the warm level that I need to be in. So we can continue doing going through this absolutely broken custom level. Yeah, there it is. Sorry, you had to die. There you go. It was designed with it in mind that you had to just get killed in the worm and then it would spit you to this level and then you just carry on. How weird, how... Uh, uh? <laughs> what the? What the? What the? This is not right. This is not right. What is this madness? Why do I do this to, to people? What the hell kind of idiotic nonsense is this? What a freaking, what a freaking unreasonable thing to do. <laughs> it's just stupid. <laughs> anyway, sure, sure. We, we can get through it. Just a matter of uh, RNG in our way through it, right? Uh, I don't need that, right? I, I, it's just a little bit of extra health to maybe help you out. In the process of getting murdered. <laughs> so ridiculous. <laughs> How, what was the expectation? What was the, the thought process in here? <laughs> oh, it'll, they'll just throw themselves at the challenge enough times to get to the exit. What's the problem? <laughs> Great level design. Thumbs up. Great job. Okay. Ah! Was that supposed to happen? Was that me trying to take your jetpack away? Is that what you, you were supposed to do? Is that what I was doing? Pretty sure that's what I was doing, but I just thwarted my own self. I just thwarted my own self. You're supposed to, uh, that's right, navigate the gauntlet in a timely manner. If I remember correctly, this is actually a timed maze. Could be wrong about that. You need to navigate the maze and then get to the exit with your jetpack. Well, anyway, that was a, a pretty complicated maze, huh? Well, pretty... Monday morning crossword puzzles, these ain't. This is some, some serious maze building. I am so proud of myself for making it so awful. <laughs> this is great. I am actually honestly proud of this maze. It's good. It's a good maze. I honestly don't know how, where to go. I think I need to go this way. I, I kind of saw it. Go this way, all the way back. And there's like a long corridor right here. Isn't this where I came from? Aha. Good maze building. Well done. Okay, and we're supposed to grab that. I don't see a timer going off, so I don't think it's timed. And I guess now we go to Old Bitey and deal with whatever nonsense is going on over here. 
I'm just constantly now, I'm constantly doubting my, my past self. It's like, did you actually design this properly? But nobody complained then. The, you know, it was thoroughly playtested. A lot of people that, oh, I have, oh, that's right. There was a bomb bag at the top. So we can just put a bomb there. No, no, that's right. Okay, well, uh, it is now completely lost forever. <laughs> that is not where the bomb goes. And all of those are actually impossible to be destroyed. And you're supposed to drop the bombs here. But because I wasted one, because I wasted one, now I need to actually do the level properly. Or do I? Yeah, because you need the jetpack. Yeah, that was a thing that I, I did to myself to, to get rid of the jetpack, but then, uh, uh, please, <laughs> I need to actually be able, oh no, I need to actually be able to not get crushed. It will be, if you will be so kind as to not crush me, that would be great. This puts me back in the place that I shouldn't be, right? What a complete disaster I have wrought upon myself. Okay, there's one bomb. Uh, it didn't explode. I repeat, it did not explode. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? I just told myself. It did explode. It, we just didn't see it. it. Didn't hear it. Okay, I, now I want to get out. Get. Uh, <laughs> what was I supposed to do? What was I supposed to do? <laughs> this is so dumb. I can't, I can't get out of here. I can't uh, avoid. Oh, maybe, maybe I'm supposed to free fall. And then I can, maybe if I don't touch the, <laughs> if I don't touch the ledge at the last minute, you're able to avoid this. <laughs> this is so silly. This is perhaps the silliest nonsense that I've ever put myself through. Aha, all right, well. What an absolute idiotic thing to do. <laughs> anyway, I think I I think I got it. We got to take like the outside path and then you make it around. Nope, there's not the way. This path right here. Wow. What an absolute torture device that I uh, created. I am sort of, sort of concerned. I am like this guy, this guy from the past is like, what kind of intent did he have? What kind of mentality was this to create this absolute nightmare for my uh, 10 years later, poor boomer brain to withstand this is not the path. Okay, but for some reason, the explosion just didn't happen. I don't know why. I mean, it happened. Uh, we just didn't hear it. Threw me out for a loop. All right, let's get to the dam. Well, we definitely need to get in there. All right, give me the bombs. Now we can please don't get eaten. That's all that I need to do, not get eaten. It should be super straightforward, right? I, if it's possible that the last one I need to wait it out because it doesn't drop fast enough. But I think it does. I, ho I sure hope it does because uh, I've done it. All right, all right. Wow. That was deceptively annoying. Ice caves. We made it to the ice caves. It's been an hour on my end though. What? Oh, that's right. Uh, we're supposed to use the... I think we're supposed to use the, the, the alien beam. Is that what I'm supposed to do? Maybe even use the bomb. I totally use the bomb. We're not supposed to kill them. At least not all of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get me through. I mean, that's helpful and all, but this is not right. <laughs> it ain't gonna work. Uh, I need to get back up there. Ah! Ah! I need to keep going through. That's the thing. I, I don't think I'm supposed to go down into the pretty neat, pretty, pretty cool uh, move right there, Blargo. Well done. All right, this is good. This is good. Bit of a complication. Okay, okay. 
No, I didn't mean to go through. Wonder if the timing of those beans is. Wonder if the timing is anything that I can uh, affect in any way. I don't think it is. All right. Okay. All right. I'm just too elite for this collection of filthy aliens. For some reason, I gave myself a compass. Oh, what a, what a bait. What a bait. Oh, baby. Oh, no, 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 no. No, don't kill me! Right, the, the beams are pretty weird. Don't know what you're supposed... Like, are they... They are fully random, I believe. So we need to trigger this. Give ourselves some room! I think I'm supposed to use the aliens to get all the way in there. Which is absolutely insane. But we're gonna try it. So what ha what happens if the aliens don't wanna cooperate? You just get rogue get completely destroyed. Yeah, yeah, we, we gotta make our make a path in there. I mean when they should no, they do not change directions. Do another instance of <laughs> Absolutely, this is like from software type of design. It's like, oh, you, it didn't work out for you. Well, that's too bad, isn't it? I don't really care. I don't care about your user ex user experience. I've designed the level, and you can just deal with it. It would be nice to kill the freaking alien. Oh, baby! No, why would you stay there, you baboon? Needs to need to get the aliens all the way to the left. That is the entire complication of that. At least this part is quite easy to get through. Don't really, don't really need the compass for anything. It's just a matter of getting through this. <laughs> Okay, all right. We actually have a little bit of a safe spot here. Please shoot! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get me out of here! Holy crap! You just need to get the alien to shoot down uh, two more times. Oh, that's gonna make it. Oh, they not make it. We still need to deal with the shopkeeper. Okay, okay, okay. That's not good enough. Oh, baby! <laughs> I hope that I'm supposed to go on there, because I got no other way to get through this. All right. <laughs> okay, that one was, I mean, it was sadistic, but it was pretty good. That was a fun level. Specs. Oh. Oh, this also was really, really, really dastardly. Four. Four. Forfeit, yeah, forfeit. Oh, there's a pile of bombs over there. Forfeit thy, aren't I fancy? Forfeit thy flight. Okay, all right. Well, I have it attached to my back. So, oh, I see, I see. We have the jetpack on, and you teleport. You blow up. Jetpack on. You teleport. You blow up. But then you resurrect. Very neat, very neat uh, little mechanic. Really not making it difficult. Just, just a funky mechanic that, that you can use. I like it. I'm done with it. Give me that jet. I mean that onk gives you 20 teleporters because you know it's random. So it basically this level is counting on one of your teleports is gonna make it there. And if you run out of teleporters, well, I guess you better restart, huh? There you go. Maybe <laughs> thing is, uh, I may need more than these bombs. Not sure. Ow. Let's get rid of the teleporters. And slowly make our way down. 
should be enough to make it all the way to the bottom. Should I give him the player some jizz in a jar? That way this entire experience will be much much faster. Really should have done that. I guess 12 bombs is exactly right. Or almost. No, oh, of course there's a shopkeeper. <laughs> what a jokester! <laughs> what, what a great jokester, buddy. He actually can get out of there, I believe. Yep, yep, he sure can, but hey, at least gave me 20 resurrections. So when <laughs> it comes out and it erases you from existence. Okay, good stuff. I guess you can telefrag him. But I think a stop is like the, the safest path. All right. <laughs> ah, I love it. I'm loving it though. I am having a lot of difficulties. But it really is a fun time. We don't want this teleporter, right? Earn thy wings. I was really full of myself back then, as opposed to the extremely humble yet extremely handsome. I don't think I'm supposed to have this teleporter, am I? I assume we just need to draw! Well, okay, an adventure. Be sure to restart it normally. All right. It's getting up to the hour of recording. Why the spike shoes? Oh, so that I don't slide, I see. Mm, it's getting up to the hour, so we're going to finish this in a second video which you know it kind of speaks to the level of humiliation i have suffered but it's also the technical difficulties that have stretched this out probably if if i hadn't had to deal with that oh it is literal wings do i really need to just whip him to death yeah i could crush him is he even being damaged i don't see blood coming out I guess we'll uh, figure it out. Well, well. Well, that blood probably went into his uh, his anus. <laughs> there was spikes all along. All right. So, am I supposed to have left some of those platforms, or? Is this now an easy, an easy win from here on out? Definitely, I was supposed to leave this platform, platforms unmolested, huh? Oh, I see. Okay, this one was, I like this one quite a lot. A lot of, a little bit of thought involved into it. Really not difficult. This is a good level. Not one of the sadistic loads of nonsense that we've gone through. This was a good level. All right, all right. We're going to keep going on the next episode.